So what do I think of speed running as an eSport as a proposal? Um, I think it has the, the merit to do that. I think it can definitely be, uh, it can definitely happen. Uh, it can be respected. There's, there's competition, there's innovation, there's determination, there's, there's all the, the, the key traits to make like a strong narrative and happen and whatnot. Um, especially whenever you see a new game. I think the difference that uh, people perhaps are, are blind to is that they'll see something like Mario 64, a very established, you know, 20 year old plus game now that has like tons of speedrun history and lore. But no one was, because the game came out in 96, no one was really around for the discovery phase of like when backwards launch jumping was discovered, when, you know, you can, you can beat the game with less than 70 stars. All of that, all of the, the hype discovery that would change the meta if we were streaming back then already happened. So you compare it now to Mario Odyssey, for example, where you're having all this discovery and whatnot, and that would be your big upsets. It's like, it's not just about getting world record, because once you get world record, once you have the best time, that's, that's the best time with the current known strats. It's all about the innovation. Like, if you are, if you are in the lab and you're, and you're glitch hunting, finding experimentation, finding a new, faster way to move or whatever, that will completely obsolete the, strat the strategies on the, uh, the world record. So it's like a 50-50. It's like execution to get the best run possible, but at the same time, there is the other 50-50% of what are your strategies? What, are your, what is your blueprint? What is, what is your stuff right there? So execution and strategy are both two big components here, and they will continually drive each other in an upward cycle of, of, like a, of pursuing the, the best of the best. So I think that that, that component there adds a great like, dynamic like any other esport would have. You know, we can't just be the best. You have to be the best and innovate here. Um, and then, yeah, I think there's a, there, a, a lot can go into it, but it requires for it to become an eSport, what we have to work on as a community just to keep, keep getting the message out there about, like, why speedrunning is the way it is, why a glitch is not inherently a bad thing, or why it's not cheating, you know, or why, uh, why it can be more accessible and why having an active player base is, like, the, the backbone of any game's community to keep it active and going. But I'm excited for it, I'm excited for the future. It looks, it looks better now than it did ever before.